Hello, my name is Desmond Taylor. Hello, ngai na ini Desmond Taylor. Hello, my name is Sonny Graham. I'm a Ngaju person, and I am speaking Ngaju Maya, Ngaju Udal Junagin. I am a one-man Manjiljara person. Ngaju na Manjiljara one-man. You know, we've got to pass our language, but our language ties in with caring for our country and, you know, our stories, our dreaming. I have um, great passion and because I like to work in the interpreting to help um, people who are having problems with and understanding the police and being there to be able to interpret and make them aware and understand the laws that they are not familiar with. We got to pass these on to our younger generation. I've got uh, five great great grandchildren and they've got to know these hopefully I'll be around to let them know. There is a big problem especially uh, with people who don't have very much education that goes for Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people as well. Um, And, and this is what happened with the old people, my old people. When they were alive, they, they told me these stories, they told me the language, they taught me the language. And, uh, and it was tremendous. It helped me to feel, you know, made, made me feel a better, better person. Can you take me back to when you started to get involved with language work? Do you remember who it was that made you passionate about it? Um, I started to read and write in my own language in 1988. Um, I was sitting next to my uncle, Mitchell Billgiver, and he taught me how to um, write the language words in Manjiljara. Then I became more interested in writing in one man language, my mother's language. So he showed me how to um, really write the language and understand the sounds and where to put the um, suffixes and that I belong to the country and we know our boundaries now. We we did uh, go up for a native title, it took us 18 years, processed, and but three of the federal court judges ticked our application, and so we got our native title. And, uh, and that is a tremendous thing, not many people get three ticks from the uh, federal court judges. In uh, libraries and, and in communities where there'd be um, a lot of our young kids who Will be, who will be coming later so that they'll be able to get access to um, books that are already there so that they be able to can read and write in their own language. Yeah, I would like to say uh, we're not a big group of people, but um, I would like to see nearly every Ngaji person talking the language. That would be my dream. And if St. Peter takes me up there, I'd be very happy.